boy Robin from Sweden and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys which are the best looking skins in CS2. So that means skins that have either been changed for the better, just simply look better maybe because of the lighting and the 3D effect or has something drastically changed with the skin. So to make this video I actually went through individually and inspected every single skin in CSGO. You might not believe it but it took me quite a long time I think it was like a week total of just sitting scrolling through every single skin inspecting them in CSGO and CS2 and deciding does it look better or does it not but before I show you guys the list of the better skins I want to thank today's sponsor which is skins monkey they're a trading site for CSGO skins and it's just as simple as that it's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins and they've got a 30% deposit bonus and if you use the link in the description or put the code anomaly you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways, which you can join for free. So if you want to try them out, then please use the link in the description. And thank you, Skins Monkey, once again for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna start with pistols and then move my way up. The first skin is the CC75 Xiang Lu, which looks insane in CS2 with a 3D effect on the handle. Even on the magazine, you can now see that it just looks much better. After this, we have the CC Silver, and as you can see, it just looks better. The shine over the steel, the silver, it looks very good. And of course, this uh, better rating also applies for the P2000, MAC-10, and MAG-7 Silvers. After that, we have the Deagle Cobalt Disruption. Now this skin when the CS2 beta released used to be on the new model. Now sadly it's on the old one but it still looks very good. It's got this mystical blue shine and also the handle looks very textured. Of course we have the Deagle Hypnotic which just like the silver skins look much cleaner and shine very brightly. We actually have another Deagle, the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco which is a very cheap skin but as you can see in in CS2, it does not look like a cheap skin because it shines like crazy. Next up, the Deagle Knight, which is very clean in CS2. There's barely any scratches at all, so it just looks insane. One of my favorite skins, the Dual Beretta's Demolition, now looks 10 times better because it almost has no scratches. Just for a comparison, this is what they usually look like in CSGO. Yeesh. The Dual Beretta's Emerald look much better in CS2 as well, but one of my favorite pistols has to be the 5 7 Copper Galaxy, which now looks like it's completely gold. And you can see the shine is <laughs> insane. Of course, I have to mention the Glock Gamma Doppler. Now, there's no special face. It's just any face looks absolutely insane. Emerald included because of the new lighting. The Glock Twilight Galaxy on the new model as well looks insane with this new lighting system as well. And finally, the Glock Fade has been upgraded as well. <laughs> and of of course, it's not only the Glock fade which looks very good, every single fade skin looks incredible, like the R8, the AWP, the MP7, UMP, and MAC-10, they all look very good. The P250 Steel Disruption, of course, steel, it's metal, it's gonna shine and look good in CS2 as well, but the P250 Whiteout in CS2, as you can see, has almost no scratches. Once again, for a comparison, this is CS2 and this is CSGO, way more scratches, and this change, of course, also affects everyone's favorite meme skin, the P250 Sand Dune. In CSGO, it always had a lot of scratches, and this top part, you can see, is fully black. Meanwhile, in CS2, there's just no scratches. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Another improved pistol, the Tech 9 Titanium Bit, because now you can actually see that these, like, rivets here look 3D, and you can just imagine feeling like the 3D on it. It's very cool. The USP Whiteout, of of course, just like the P250, also has been upgraded with almost no scratches at all. It looks almost like a 3D model without a texture. And personally, one of the better changes is the MAC-10 gold brick. You can see the gold shine and the backside now has a very nice reflection. And of course, like with the other whiteout skins, the MP7, no scratches. And since the whiteout skins and the bulldozer skins almost look exactly the same, these ones don't have scratches either. Like 
like for example, here's the Mag 7 in CSGO, an insane amount of scratches, but here it is in CS2, you see, completely flawless. The UMP Delusional looks quite different, you might realize, because this is what it looks like in CSGO. You see, no texture on the foregrip, the mag, or the handle, but in CS2, it's just got the pattern everywhere. I think this looks a lot cooler. Yeah, for sure it looks cooler. The UMP Bone Pile is also a great change, I can't stress how how much better it looks in CS2, because here is what it looks like in CSGO. You see no texture on the foregrip, mag, or handle, or even this rail, but in CS2, you can see texture everywhere. This nice green color, it just looks much, much better. The Mag 7 Hazard is another skin which usually is very scratched in CSGO, but in CS2, it's just completely clean, unlike my penis. The Nova Subex Bite, the new skin from Anubis Collection, now looks much more 3 D. For example, look at the buttstock here, or those gemstones in the middle of the gun, very good. The M249 Deep Relief now actually feels like it has depth to it. It looks like someone just carved out pieces of the machine gun. Same with the Negev Mjolnir, which now also looks more 3D. One of the bigger changes must be to the Op Snake Camo, which used to have no camo on the scope, but in CS2 it looks insanely clean with a scope camo. And the same, of course, up updated to Safari Mesh, also has a colored scope, which honestly makes the skin look much better. And like with the Gamma Doppler, the AUG carved jade now looks like it's made of glass almost, and is very cool. The AK Gold Arabesque still doesn't really look like gold, but at least it's brighter and looks a bit more like gold than in CSGO. The Famas Spitfire is another example of a skin that usually is very scratched. I mean, shit, this is what it looks like in CSGO, you can see, you can barely see the mouth because it's so scratched, but in CS2, it's completely immaculate. Like, I don't understand. This is such a good-looking skin now. The M4 Blue Phosphor also has been upgraded, just like the Auge Carved Jade. Now it almost looks like glass, and it's shining very nice and blue. The Scout Acid Fade is actually a skin I bought only because it looks so good in CS2, because now we have color on the scope, and honestly, that's a huge difference. It looks much better now. And the final gun skin is the SCAR-20 Fragments from the recent Revolution case, because you can see this skin was really made to look 3D with lighting, and now in CS2, it does. Just like the M249 Deep Relief, it looks like someone has just carved out pieces of the gun. And obviously, I can't conclude this video without showing you guys some knives that have been upgraded. First of all, every single Gamma Doppler knife has been upgraded and now looks much better. Of course, same with regular Doppler, for example, Ruby or Sapphire. And the final knife that looks much better in CS2 are the Statrak Shadow Daggers. Now, this applies for any Statrak Shadow Daggers, but you can see the Statrak counter has been moved. Now, it's in the center of the blade, which is much better than on the side of the blade like it was in CSGO. I'm not sure why they changed it, but I'm all for it. It looks better like this. And finally, we have some gloves that are updated as well. The Moto Gloves Blood Pressure look much more vibrant now in CS2. And also, as you can see, there's barely any scratches on them. They look very clean. Same with the Sport Gloves Scarlet Shamar, because these ones have a lot of red color, where in CSGO, there was no color. You can see, for example, on the fingertips and the place between the, like, wrist and the thumb, it now has this nice, deep red color. It definitely looks a lot better. The Moto Gloves Turtle have also been upgraded a lot, because for some reason, the color of the knuckle protector has been inverted, and is now much more bright than the previous bright large part here, which has now been darkened down. I'm not sure why they did it, but honestly, I think this looks better, because it kind of pops more. Specialist Gloves Crimson Web have also been upgraded a lot and are way more vibrant in CS2, and now you can actually see that the webs look like they're sticking out from the gloves due to the new lighting. Specialist Gloves Fade have also been updated, you can just take a look at it. I mean, the new fade on the gloves gloves, it's literally 10 out of 10. Same applies for the specialist Crimson Kimono. Here, they're a little bit brighter, yeah, but the main selling point for me is the 3D. Now the pattern actually looks very different from CSGO. And finally, just a little easter egg, the uh, sustenance pin, for some reason now, looks 10 times better. You can see, it's like small little diamonds that are shining individually. It looks like those videos of rappers when they flex their watch and someone's recording with a 
flashlight. And that just about concludes the list of the skins that have been updated, upgraded, or just changed in CS2 to look much better. So thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go hope that they don't end up changing what these skins look like until the eventual release of CS2. Yeah, yeet.